In this first chapter on fluid therapy, we will initially look at the classic fluid therapy models and analyse evidence as to why they may not be relevant anymore, and will then begin to introduce you to the more modern therapy models. We will also look at concepts that will be familiar to most of you, that is, human physiology relevant to fluid therapy. This incorporates body fluids and body fluid compartments, as well as the movement of fluids into these different compartments. This uh, consists of Starling's forces, as well as the more modern theory of the glycocalyx model, something that may be less familiar to most of you.